About three years ago, I made this Joe's Ancient Orange Mead, and it's been sitting ever since then. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, so I'm gonna start with a confessional for this one. I used the standard Joe's Ancient Orange recipe, which off the top of my head, slash on my phone is one gallon of water, 3.5 pounds of honey, uh, bread yeast, one large orange, one cinnamon stick, one clove, one pinch of nutmeg, and a handful of raisins. Now, um, I did this on a video about, uh, like I said, almost three years ago. We took and we made two versions of this. I made a one and a half gallon batch of the Joe's Ancient Orange and did the traditional thing, bread yeast, all of the nonsense. And then on the other side, I wanted to test what would happen if you used wine yeast. So I used a Lauven D47, I believe. I'm sorry, Lauven K1B1116 in the other one. So I had a gallon and a half of mead on each side, went through the fermentation, um, and I was doing that to kind of note what does the taste difference what is the taste difference between the two? Out of the test, um, rather than me tell you the taste difference, trying to recall, here's just a clip of me tasting them out of the primary from the bread yeast to the wine yeast. I'm gonna start with the wine yeast this time. Mmm, that's not bad. A little, um, I, don't, I don't know what the gravity is on them now. If they, I thought they might have fermented out completely, but I don't know, I haven't taken a gravity reading in a little while. Still got a little sweetness to it, little kick. You get the orange, um, not a lot of that, the uh, spices like I was saying. It makes me wonder if spices and like wine yeast don't ferment as well. Um, that could be a theory. It's very smooth though, for being probably around 14-ish percent, 12 to 14 percent alcohol. Uh, it's very smooth, it's very good. Um, you don't, there's a little honey character, not a ton of honey character though. I would say overall the flavors are not very well rounded, which is kind of interesting. Um, when I mean rounded, I mean like honey provides like this warm flavor. Then you, we have our citrus, which provides like the sharp, the um, tangy kind of stuff. And then our spices are kind of in that middle ground. And you'd think that between all three of those things that we'd get this nice perfect circle of flavor that would be really smooth, easy to drink. And this um, has more of that tangy uh, side of it than anything else. So that's really interesting. It's not bad though, it's, it's pretty good. I drink a glass of that easily. Um, it's very, very palpable. Now, uh, here's the bread yeast version. Whoa, that's completely different flavor. Very orangey, very um, citrusy. Again, not a lot of honey character. Yeah, that, that tastes like you're, you're biting into an orange. Um, wow, that's really interesting. I think age has helped it some. Um, cause I think, I don't think it was as great that when I first tried it, uh, also last time I tried it, I think there was a lot of yeast still in it. So the yeast probably affected the flavor some, but man, that is, that is a definitely more rounded flavor. It doesn't have as much on the honey as I want, but the roundness of it, meaning like the spices and that, the uh, tang side are very pretty, pretty good. Man, that is great. I, I think taste wise. I do prefer the uh, bread yeast. Yeah, that's really good. I much prefer the bread yeast. It's got more power, more more character to it. And just like when you think this Joe's Ancient Orange flavor and what it's supposed to be um, calling back to the old days of making mead, the, e the ease of it, you know, bread yeast and throwing it in and letting it go, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is probably closer to what I think. This is not bad, but it doesn't have as much flavor and power behind that flavor. And really, if you if you read the, the label Joe's Ancient Orange, you're gonna expect that kind of powerful flavor of orange and cloves and cinnamon and um, and just all those, the roundness, like I'm, I've been saying for a little bit there. So they tasted different. Not really surprising. Bread yeast is not necessarily, or is not the same as wine yeast. And uh, to say which is better would be tough because they had different characters. Let me tell you my other little, uh, maybe um, uh, mead sin that I created or caused. I am about, I'm about 90% sure that when I, I, I didn't do it on video, but whenever I was finalizing things, I just 
put, uh, combine them into one batch. I didn't do individual bottles. Or if I did, I literally don't remember, I did not label them correctly. So this is, and I'll, I can show you the label. This says wine yeast on it. This doesn't say bread yeast. I very well could have printed off the same label for both and then just forgot. I looked for bottles that said bread yeast and I don't have any. So I literally don't recall if I combined them, but I think I did. Let's taste test it anyways. Again, three years, lots of time. It's got a beautiful color. I'm shaking it up a little bit in my moving. Ooh, wow, that's aromatic. Woo. Orangey for sure, zesty. Ooh, honey characters popped over time. It smells pretty smooth. It's got a little heat still, maybe just some alcohol burn. I mean, we're, we're three years, so theoretically that burn would be less, but this is still there. Yeah, the honey character is nice and bright floral. There is a more orange, like on the outer aromatics, on the kind of nose. There's, there's some oranginess, but not a ton. Hm. Let's try it. Whoa, that is very viscous, very thick. Man, I gotta go in again. The spices are definitely heavy. You get a lot of cinnamon and like nutmeg. That clove is really getting me. The orange is tempered down quite a bit. It's not as bright, not as zesty. It was very zesty on when I first opened the bottle and poured it, but it's not as zesty here. And it's definitely dry. One little fun fact about this. When I did this test, I started them both at the same gravity, bread yeast, same as the wine yeast, it was like 1.105. The bread yeast chewed through all of the sugars in this, and theoretically, bread yeast is used in this recipe because it's an older recipe, but also, um, the, the idea is that bread yeast will cap out a little earlier than wine yeast, therefore causing there to be residual sweetness, which then leads this to be sweeter. Starting with three and a half pounds of honey, you would think you would cap out the, the bread yeast, and it, it didn't. So the body on this is huge, very tannic, just that it clings. It's, uh, it's just very strong. It needs some sweetness, uh, I will admit. So I, I believe that we're getting some orange taste out of this, but the problem is we're getting orange minus sugar, which if you were to take the, uh, or the sugar out of an orange, you're gonna get basically a, like a, just acid, a, a, a tacky, not really bright, sweet orange taste. That's stupid to say, but a little side note for you. I, I want, do this in the comments. Get a lemon, cut the lemon up into slices, and then um, I want you to put sugar on top of the lemon and eat it. And I want you to tell me if it tastes like an orange. Do that, post it down in the comments. Tell me if you do it. I'm curious what you think. Essentially, this is a uh, orange minus the sugar, which is a bit of a bummer. It's very, like, the, the flavors are mellowing, mellowed out. This isn't my favorite recipe. It, uh, it's pretty spice heavy, I would say. The spices have popped more over time than I would like. The orange is not as strong. I wish I'd put even more orange in. With it being Joe's Ancient Orange Mead, you'd think it would just be a nice, bright orange taste. It's pretty mellow. Again, some sweetness from honey might help. The honey character is nice though. I will, I will gladly admit that. I do wonder with like a smidge amount of honey, if this would brighten up and be nicer. So I'm actually gonna take and, and get a spoon, small size of honey and just put it in here. I mean, real talk though, this, this is a very hot mead, it's 15, 16-ish percent, whew, I have, I just ate, and I'm still feeling, I'm feeling the effects of this bad boy. Stir this up. Okay, this honey's like pretty well mixed in, but not, not perfect. All right, let's taste it. It does help a little bit of that orange character. It's still not extremely strong, but it brings some brightness, some life back to it. It also kind of makes the, previously, the, the taste of this would kind of dissolve to be bitter and uh, acid heavy towards the end. And what it, this does is it lifts the bottom part of this and makes it a little, like it still has a dip, but the dip is shorter because right now it's just kind of going, 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 and then it does this. Whereas before, it, oh, sorry, it does this and then down rather than like a long dip. So silly analogy, but 
it's not bad. Again, my little cardinal sin of um, mixing the two, I, I'm pretty sure I mixed them. I And if I did, my bad. Uh, I was digging through bottles just a few minutes ago to trying to figure out what to do with some. And guess what I found? This guy. And I said to myself, let's go ahead and do a tasting. Um, three years is quite a lot of time, quite a lot of time to mellow out for it to grow and get better. And I think in a lot of ways, this has gotten better. The problem is the original recipe, I think I could have done a little better. I probably would have doubled up on the orange. I would have kept the same amount of spices for this, um, and I would have definitely probably back sweetened. Now, some of you are gonna say, would you use bread yeast or wine yeast for this? I am a firm believer that wine yeast is best intended for wine making, mead making. Can you do this with bread yeast? Absolutely. I think bread yeast will uh, take a long time for to equal out, to chill out, for. For most people, you might not recognize it, but if you have a um, if you have a lot of experience with wine yeast post fermentation and bread as opposed to bread yeast, you might notice a funk, and that funkiness can be weird. Not bad. Three years. I got. A, I think I have another bottle somewhere, so maybe year five we'll taste test it. But this has been Joe's Ancient Orange. Three years later, um, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I plan on doing it again. And I would like to, I don't want to master this recipe. To be honest with you, Joe's Ancient Orange is a great starting point for mead making. I don't care about the recipe that much. It's not that great. And sorry if that offends you, but this recipe is its fine. It's made its uh, way as a standard in our world. It's just not excellent. Um, I have a lot of other recipes that I think are fantastic. So uh, I'll do this one again. Maybe I'll try and make my own version of it. I'm not going to try and take over the regular original version because it's a, a staple but i hope you've enjoyed this let me know what you think down below let me know about the lemon situation let me know if you've made this before of course uh there is the subscribe button all that all that gah, all that garbage i hope you will uh hit that just like that and uh have a great day cheers <laughs>